Visítanos en asdetrebol.com, la mayor tienda de magia con los mejores precios. you work up an appetite. Now, I don't happen to have a sandwich or a candy bar with me. Fortunately, I've got this 50-cent coin because I can take this coin and just bite a piece <laughs> right off it. And if I don't like the taste, <laughs> I can spit it back on. Isn't that wonderful? Makes you glad to be alive in the 20th century. Thank you. It was wonderful. Thank you. I'd like to show you a classic in magic. It's done with a half dollar and a bottle. Now, David, I think you're probably more familiar with a bottle, and would you mind, <laughs> and, and ladies are always more familiar with money. Would you mind looking at that? Is that a real half dollar? It sure is. Is that a real solid bottle? It's a solid bottle. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to, I'm going to put this bottle inside. I'm going to put the half dollar in this bottle uh, through this end through uh -huh. this end here. Not through that end, but through this end. Okay. Would you mind standing, David? Mm -hmm. uh, hold out your right hand. I want you to hold the end of the bottle so I can't get near it, okay? Right. Uh, turn it over. Thank right. you. I'm going to just adjust that a little bit. Now I'm going to find uh, a soft spot right here. There it is, you see? Uh, you can let go now, David. Now, I want to <laughs> assure you that that's... Can you uh, verify for everyone else that it's absolutely inside there? It's can in you there. see it? Yes. There's a head. There's a tail. It's can you see it? In there. Now you can you can look at it, but you can't touch it. A any of the rest of you? Can you see that? That half dollar is absolutely in there. David, can you see it there in the end? Yeah. And it won't come out no matter how hard you try. You know. There it is. Take a look at it, David. There's the half. There's the bottle. See, when I throw a party, I bring my own bottle. Huh? What a guy. Let's play spin the bottle. Whoops. Sorry. There. <laughs> No, what I'd like you to do, though, is make sure that it's a regular bottle. And, if you would, I have a purse with some change in it. Open it up and dump it out. How are things here? It's a bottle. It is a bottle. We have an expert's opinion. <laughs> this is a bottle. It's an empty bottle. It's a bottle of champagne. And what do we have inside the purse? 30, uh, 60 cents. 60 cents. It's an American half dollar and a dime. Now, I'm going to give you a choice, and it'll be pretty easy for you to decide. If I were to give you a choice, which would you, okay, in terms of which would rather go inside the bottle? Do you think that the half dollar or the dime, hand me the coin which will not fit inside of this bottle? 50 cent piece. Good choice. You'd be surprised sometimes. <laughs> Now, let me ask you a question and think about this. Would it be a good trick if I could take this coin and balance it right on the side of that bottle and hit it in such a way that it visibly went through the glass to appear inside of the bottle so that you could hear it and see it inside of the bottle, even while it's still corked inside the bottle, and then cause it to keep going so that it fell out the other side of the bottle? Would that be a good trick? That would be a good trick. Darn right it would. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do that, man. That'd be great. But, but I did think about this trick a lot, and here's what I thought. I thought that right there, that's where the bottle is its thickest. That's where the, it's the base of the bottle. If I could take this coin and drive it through the base of that bottle, theoretically, I could put this coin inside of that bottle from anywhere, and that would be a pretty good trick. But I'd, I'd like to see. Now, to do that, I'd have to hold it pretty firmly because I have to hit it very hard. And when I do it, it looks something like this. Are you ready? Watch. Just like that. As you can see, it's now inside the bottle. Make certain that it's in there. Go ahead and take the cork out. See? Do me a favor. 
place the dime inside to join the 50 cent piece. She thought that the dime would stay. Go ahead and put it in. Oh. So there'll be 60 cents inside of the bottle. <laughs> what, the dime's not going? No. Oh, too bad. Um, we should have rehearsed that part, huh? Well, it doesn't matter. Um, but it does kind of emphasize the fact that if a dime can't go in, the 50 cents obviously can't pour out. Uh, and that would be a pretty good trick because it would complete the circle of magic. See, I would go in through the bottom and then I could pour it out through the neck. And that would, that would be a good trick. Uh, in order to do, to do that, Steve, would you hold, cut both hands in front of you like this, put them together, because if I could do it, it would look something like this. Okay, you see it in there? Watch. There's the coin, and there's the bottle. And it's all due to magic. I used to leave them inside, but it almost forced me into a life of crime.